Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. My name is Priscilla Kaderi, Yvette Suma. You are welcome to my channel. God bless you. Today, I'm going to be talking about the blessing of our children. Are you a parent? Are you a sister? Are you a brother? Do you bless your children? Our children, they are the fruit of the womb that the Lord God has given unto us. And he told us, with this one, we will be honored in the garden, in the streets, where we are. How do you bless your children? Today, we are going to look very closely to our four parents, Abraham, how he blessed his son. He blessed Isaac, and Isaac was blessed. The blessing of Abraham was imparted unto Isaac. Isaac blessed Jacob. And what he used to bless Jacob today is what the Israelites are passing through. Esau, he did not bless. But with tears, with tears he cried. He said, Daddy, bless me. He blessed him. But he said, War will never depart from him. Our children, they are what we have. We should bless them. Every day of your life, when you wake up at the middle of the night, call your children one by one and start blessing them with the blessing of the Lord. Because the scripture says, it said the blessing of a parent goes a very long way to heal a child, to heal the root. There is an adage in my place that says, Unokoko igbo viori. But now, I will tell you, Unokoko ogbo viori. You know what? When you, when you raise up your hand and say, Baba, Lord God, my child will be blessed. In the morning, it will be blessed. In the afternoon, it will be blessed. In the evening, it will be blessed. At night, it will be blessed. Whatsoever it touch, it will be blessed. So, it so shall it be. Do you know the angel that is passing when you are decreeing about blessing of a child? Abraham bless Isaac. Isaac bless Jacob. Jacob bless the 12 children that made up the Israelites today. Made up the tribe. Your children bless them. In the morning bless them. Even when they are going to school, bless them. When you forget to bless them. When you remember that you did not bless them today, call them by their name. You don't need to pray it, say, Father, I bless my child. Your child might be in a difficult situation, but because you are raining down blessing upon it, that situation will give way. That situation will give way. That situation will give way, and you will see be prospering. Today, most of us suffer because our parents refuse to bless us. You will tell your children, hey, you, you, you be a year person. That child will ever remain a year person. Because you don't know the angel that was passing when you decree carelessly, you lay a curse on your child. This one, no man, I know will be anything for life. Later on, you'll be going for deliverance, not knowing that it's you that has laid the curse on your child. My dear brothers and sisters, today I'm telling you, bless your children. Bless your children. Let your children be blessed. Bless them in the morning. Say, God, my children will never lack anything good. Father, divine helper will locate my children. Wake up at the middle of the night. Bless your children. Look at the children that are passing a hell of difficulties today. You know why? When you check their roots, their, their parents refuse to bless them. Today, I am telling you, bless your children. Bless your children. Bless your children. Abraham bless his children. We are adopted children of Abraham. Not only Abraham, Noah bless his children. 
He bless them. He bless them. Because he bless them, they prosper. Don't cause your child. No matter how anger, how angry you are, or how anger they provoke you. Don't. When you are hungry, say the blood of Jesus. Baba, take absolute control. Take control of my mouth. Take control of my being. Bless your children. Wherever they go, bless them. Where they are going to school, bless them. Even when they are out of the house, they are married. Bless them. Because the blessing of a parent goes a long way. That is why the scripture told us so. He said, we should not drive our children to roads. We parents, we are found of doing that. We drive our children to rot. The scripture says we should not drive them to rot. We should not drive them to rot. Correct your children in love. Draw them closer. When they are in difficulty, make friends with your children. That is why they will be able to open up unto you. Many of our children are outside today. They take information from outside. What about you? They refuse to take from you because when they were coming up, you are bad on them. It's never too late. Prayer changes situation. If let's all check the book of Second Chronicle. Jabez, because of the name the mother gave to him, Jabez, pain. Pain, nothing palatable. But thank God, Jabez did what he prayed and reverted it. Because the, because the mother passed through difficult, his labor was difficult. And in the family, they have been passing through difficult situation. So when they gave birth to him, he called him Jabez. But Jabez, thank God, he's, he was a man of God. He said, Father, I don't want to. But before it is too late, how many of our children will be like Jabez and revert the situation that the parents cause? Bless your children. Wherever they are blessing. Continue to rain blessing on them. Wake up in the night, even... When the situation, when the situation is not looking good, wake up in the night and start blessing them. When they call you on phone, oh, when, before you talk one, they talk to you, you have started blessing them. Sometimes, let your children develop the habit of saying, Mommy, bless me, I need your blessing. As a woman of God, as a, as a man of God, how do you bless your children? How do you decree upon your children? Bless your children in the morning. Bless them in the afternoon. Bless them in the evening. Bless them at night. Bless them when you are eating. Even when you are passing through difficulties, bless your children. Because the prayer of a, of a, of a parent goes a long way to heal the root. We have so many vagabonds today because we, the parents, we refuse to pray for our children. We refuse to bless them. Today, I'm begging you as a parent, bless your child. Even, eh, 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 even when you are not in good time with that child, when you start blessing him, him or her, you will see every situation start turning over. God bless you. God may his word yield multiple fruits in your life. In the name of Jesus. As you bless your children, the Lord God will bless you. But you have to bless your children because they are your seed. They are the seed that the Lord God will ask you tomorrow. How do you go about them? What do you do with the seed that I've given you? Are you the parents that is always cursing the child? Or are you the one that is always blessing the children? Some of us parents cause the children, cause them, cause them until that cause is start having effect on them. Starting from today, start blessing your children. May the good Lord bless you. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, The Virtual Summer. Follow me on Facebook and subscribe to my YouTube channel. On Instagram to so follow me. Jesus loves you, so do I. God bless you and remain blessed.
right from today go start blessing your children if you have not started this start blessing them because why they are your joy they are your pride our children they are our pride god bless you when we come when we come again we'll be talking more of this praise the lord the lord is good